My dad is coming with the couch right now. Oh, I love these feet. I got the fridge installed. Can you be in love with the fridge? I think you can. kind of a rush of a morning, but also a slow morning. I've just been doing computer work here at my new spot <laughs> where I tend to do computer work now. We have a big day, kind of. We are working on the floors today. We are finally installing the fridge. I keep saying that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do that today. And then I read the manual again in the, the installation guide and I'm just like, this is a little more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. And it's also 500 pounds, so. I need to build the frame that goes up and you'll see that in um, probably the Sunday's renovation video on the kind of kitchen because it's gonna be the island. Um, but I need to get this squared away and then also work on the fridge install. And we got an exciting delivery. We are gonna be alarmed and secure. Now we have the Google Home stuff, like the Google uh, Nest Home, but they discontinued their alarm system. They don't make it anymore. So I had, to, I went with, Drew raves about Simply Safe, so I'm like, well, might as well try it out. And it's super easy to DIY install. So I ordered a kit with exactly how many like sensors we needed and stuff. So I want to get that installed today. Look what we got. All the sealer. Six bottles. Sealer for the floors and then six bottles of the hardener for the for that stuff. So we could do that. My dad's coming in a few hours because we just, it was, our couch was in one of the trailers, like storage trailers that my parents have. So it was kind of hard to get to, but we finally got it out and on his truck. So he's going to come by later and we're going to unload our couch. Also that queen bed that we found for like 10 bucks at the thrift store. It'll go back in the shed for now, but that's going to be for the guest bedroom. Um, we work it with this, you know, just things. Yeah, you're gonna start sanding the floors. Yeah, I'm being so this. particular about these floors, you guys. It's just been such a long project. I just, I want them to be perfect. I hope I like this security system. I hope it's as good as everybody raised about. So all the stuff and yardsticks to say that we are secured. I also contemplated getting two keypads I just don't know how much we'll enter through the back door or vice versa. Will we just, we need to figure out how we are gonna like really live here once we're done with construction. Like we don't go through the back door right now because it's just like a hassle to go through the, that gate. So we come through the front. So I'm thinking the keypad is good for the front. Romeo sanding the floors. You guys, I've been so particular about these floors. We just started staining the guest bedroom and we had the same problem we had in the hallway. I'm just not happy with it. Uh, it's period. So we're sanding it down again. The hand sander this time. Cool. Okay, well, I'll let you guys know how I like this. They were having a little bit of a sale online. Maybe they're still having it. Um, so I, I kind of got, I took advantage and got what I, what I think we needed. I did it. That part, I did. <laughs> I filmed it for the renovation video up, coming up soon. It looks really good. I mean, once you get it in your head how to make these cabinets or how they kind of are constructed, you just change your measurements and it's actually pretty simple if you make sure that everything is at 90 degree angles and everything's really square. And so now I'm gonna start on the kind of island because we're DIYing our own island. My dad is coming with the couch right now. Ago we picked her up. But remember I fell in love with the couch, the Warners. And then I was like, whoa, this is a lot. Then I found a cheaper alternative of that couch, different brand. I will link it for you. Universal something, I think. Oh, I love these feet. Oh, so pretty. Just so much 
stuff in here. <laughs> but it's really nice. It's kind of like the linen is is slubby. Like if you ever hear me say linen is slubby, it means it has like like overly textured. The yarns are kind of inconsistent, um, so it gives it a nice slubby kind of texture. It's a real word, I promise. But it's, it's slubby, so it has like some some scratch to it, which I'm not in love with. It's not like the it's not the most soft. She's here. Well, she's been here. She just hasn't been in her proper place. But look at the feet. Aren't they pretty? I loved the wheels. It looked, what I loved about this couch is that it really had the shape that I was looking for. It had the, the wheels that looked like vintage antique furniture. It had the scalloped back that also kind of gave it a little more shape, a little more of a vintage feel, and it just overall, and, but it was still in a neutral color so that we could play up some other things in the space and add some pillows. You know, these are just the pillows that came with it. See how she kind of slopes back that way? She's so pretty. I love it. After we got this couch in here, we had to take a break. It's 104 degrees today. Now, I'm very thankful that we have AC, so it's cool in the house, but putting on those feet almost killed me. So we went to get some more water and coffee <laughs> to keep going today. I don't wanna go back outside right now. I need to like cool down catch my breath, the heat just drains you. Before I left my parents' house, I had some packages shipped over there because I got some new clothing for the warmer weather from ThreadUp. So a big thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I have some things that now that we have all of our clothes here, I mean, we're living here. It's just so weird. I still can't get over it. Um, but I wanna show you guys what I got. So if you guys are not familiar with ThreadUp, I shop in there all the time. They are an online consignment and thrift store. They have so much secondhand clothing. It launches every day. There's so many good things. And you guys can get 30% off your first order and free shipping with code McKenna. If you want to try them out, look on their site. I have a few tips and tricks on how I shop on ThreadUp. If you follow my vlogs for a while, I've given them to you, but I swear it's the best way to shop on ThreadUp. Obviously, if you're looking for something specific, a little black dress or you know something in a specific color, you can search those as well. If you don't know what you're looking for, I have some tips and tricks. So I'll try on some outfits too, but I got these jeans, some wide leg denim. I got this pair of denim for $16.99. <laughs> what? They were regularly $36, so we have to try these on. Okay, here is outfit number one. So this shirt, I was thinking this is from Madewell. I would actually tuck something like this in just to give me a little more shape, especially because the pants are baggy, which I like. You don't want baggy all the way around. You know, you want some shapes. It was regularly $98. I got it for $34.99. So cute. Okay, MNG denim, $36 regularly, $16.99. So this whole outfit is under $50. How cute. And I just paired it with some white sneakers. Feeling a little fancy casual in this next outfit. I got these wide leg white denim pants from Zara originally. Regularly $46. I got them for $23.99. This take is from Lumiere. It's gold. So I paired it with some white sneakers too so that it like calmed it a little bit. It made it a little more casual instead of more dressed up. But I could totally dress it up. I could dress this whole outfit up if I wanted to by putting on like some boots or something. And summer would not be complete without a matching active wear set. This is so cute. Look at the back of the top. That's so cute. So it's a complete Nike set. All of these clothes have, literally have nothing wrong with them, which is one of my secrets. So when you guys go on ThreadUp, go ahead and put in your sizing because that's gonna narrow down everything on their site to just your sizing. Then you wanna click like new and new with tags. They're, they're still in good shape. All of these pieces weren't new with tags, but they are literally like new. So if you click those two buttons, then go back to the new arrivals page and refresh throughout your shopping journey. So you get to see everything first. That is like my key. So don't forget to, you get 30% off your first order and free shipping with code McKenna. And I'll leave all of the information down below and in the description box so that you guys can just click the link and go shop. <sighs> I feel like I need to go work out now, even though I've been working all day. It's so hot today, you guys. It's unreal. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. It's 105 right now. Uh, it's 104. I'm just it's, sure. it's 104. It's almost like our house is struggling to keep cool, even though it's like still in the 70s in here. It's just so stinking hot. But I remember last year being down here and 
toughing it through it through the 104 degree weather. It was, I don't know if we had very many hundred over a hundred days last year, but all week this week is going to be so hot. Like over, oh, you guys, we've been working all day. Oh, I'm so tired. He's still sanding. Excuse my appearance. It has been a day. It's been, there's just, there's, there's been so, kids, Kinsley's like, you guys have been working all day and not paying attention to me. Our plumber was here all day helping us do stuff. We got the fridge installed. Well, it's somewhat installed. We didn't want to do, we need a part for um, the adapter for the water line for the ice maker. Um, so we just have it like temporarily secure so it won't like come forward, but not completely in installed so that we can actually remove it um, when he comes back on Monday or Tuesday um, so that we can finish her up. What's this? I think I'm supposed to remove that too. Anyways, we're still working on that, but shh, it's so pretty. Look at this. You guys, I would, can you be in love with a fridge? I think you can. Ugh. It's hard to open because we don't have the handles yet or the cabinets, but Hello. She's just like amazing. I just, I loved this fridge. I just loved it. Look at it. Freezer. We've got Kinsley's drawer here. Guess what we get to do? We get to go buy groceries for it. <laughs> the only time I'm going to be excited to go to the grocery store is when I get to fill my new fridge. That, that's, that's, that's it. Um, he also worked on this. The start of the island. I worked on the, I did the cabinet. And we're kind of like figure out, figuring out the plumbing. Um, the dishwasher is going to sit next to it, which was coming on Monday, which was exciting. Um, and so this is just the makings of our island. Isn't it incredible? Very, very excited. I am going to shower. A little bubble bath action. I need to get some bubbles. That's what I need to get. so excited in my entire life to go grocery shopping. It will wear off. I don't like grocery shopping at all, but this is exciting. We're gonna have to be strategic though because we actually can't cook anything. Yeah, so maybe some Lunchables, some adult Lunchables. Some things, adult Lunchables. <laughs> you know that. We actually like those. Yeah, those are good. So we just have to get things that are easy, like sandwich stuff. That's insane, that's a lot of cards. I should really start coming to the grocery store at this time because there's no one here. No one here. Makes it a lot more enjoyable. Okay, we we do not have our washer and dryer set up yet. We did bring them in the house today, um, but my, our plumber's coming back next week. Um, he's going to install them. I can get a skillet. You can. We need to do some things. Wait, what's we need to get. Kitchen is more like organized. I can eat cereal. This is my favorite almond milk, Khalifa. I get two. Okay, sandwiches is definitely something that we can eat. So I like getting them in the pre, they pre-slice these from the deli. So definitely some cheese. It's a very weird feeling when you realize, when you get a fridge and you realize you have literally nothing, like from scratch, like condiments. And we came over, I'm like, well, we need sriracha. They're out, they're out of sriracha. Out of sriracha. Oh no, it's right here. Oh, thank the Lord. They moved it. It's sriracha. Sriracha. Is that a California thing? No. Nope. Sriracha with everything. <laughs> it makes it all better. A fruit is a definite must. And I usually do like to get it like this because I'm on the go so fa like so much. But it's always more expensive. Grapes. Okay, so our haul is not going to be very, I mean, maybe a little exciting. Look at this lighting though. <laughs> our haul is um, everything that we can eat over the next week without something to cook on. But I think we should get one of those camping stove top. Yeah, we could go get one that like. You know, like, a, what's it called? Um, a portable stove Flat top. Or, uh, you know, something, something that you can plug in that can heat up a pan and stuff. Because we have pans and things. 
Okay, so we also don't have our reverse osmosis hooked up, which is what we use for water, what filters the water. Um, so we're gonna be using bottled water for now. Um, we'll just recycle. I'm so excited to make this look so nice. Also figure, get eat cereal. So I got almond milk. We also got these big reusable bags from HEB. I really like them. Um, they're like deep and like they fit everything. So Khalifa, almond milk. Oh, doesn't fit this one. Should we raise it again? Huh? Look. It doesn't go underneath? Or is this a dork? No. No, uh, you can adjust the door, by the way. Oh, but this is Oh. Now it fits. I got these like balanced break things. Um, one has cheddar, cheddar cheese, almonds, and dried cranberries. And, oh, and then, I never heard that sound before. I was like, wait, what's beeping at me? Like it's the beeping. fridge. And then Monterey Jack, dried cranberries, dark chocolate, and banana chips. You really like these, don't you? Yeah. Almonds here. No, not the turkey. That is so satisfying. I also got pirate's booty and exotic vegetable chips. Veggie chips. I love the veggie chips from Trader Joe's too. We have some more snacks and stuff that we brought from um, my parents' house, but I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> I can't find any. How about these? Do you want these? Oh, over by the top. Just leave them at room tip? Yeah. Oh, like right on top here? On the bottom. Yeah, hot coffee cups. I love them. You might have to use like double cup. I'm sure I could find a cute coffee mug for tomorrow morning for both of us. Yeah. <laughs> what is Kinsley doing? Kinsley, are you back here? Look at her. What are you doing? Look at my princess. Oh, I love you, Kinsley. So much to do, especially when you know someone is here, a plumber or electrician or something. Um, we're just kind of trying to prioritize as much as we can in that area. I got Kinsley a new baby today. Come on, you gotta jump. You have to jump up here. Good girl. It's also been super draining because it's been so hot. I have so many projects that I still need to do outside, so I've been like making cabinets and cutting wood and obviously not gonna do that inside, so. Um, you killed it today with sanding down those floors. I can't believe I sang that floor for the 10th time on it. I know. <laughs> I'm being so extra with these floors, but okay. it is, I think this time is the time <laughs> that it looks really good. I hope so, yeah. It's just, we're just working through some things with these floors. Um, so we're gonna see how the guest bedroom stains up tomorrow. And then if it goes really well, um, then we have the perfect combination of what we need to do. And then we can do it also like in a little bit in the hallway and then the primary bedroom and closet. So um, we, think we've, we think we've nailed it, but it's a lot of work. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you again in a few days for another one. And then another renovation video, of course. And don't forget to check out ThreadUp and get an extra 30% off your first order with code McKenna. We have so many projects. I feel like now that we're in the house, I, I just see all the work that still needs to be done, but at least it's livable. And it's all the pretty stuff that we get to do, which is really exciting. So I will see you guys again in a few days. Bye guys. Oh, you like your new baby? <laughs> this one squeaks.